everyone, I'm Abby, and we are here at Gladstone Ripley. We're going to do a live residence hall tour. We're going to show you the inside. We're going to show you a couple of different things that are around us here. So, oh, there's the there's the uh, Gladstone Ripley sign, which actually the code for this place is GLAD. I like that. <laughs> G-L-A-D. Yeah. So around us we've got quite a few things, um, pretty centrally located. We've got the Pomfreteria that's down yeah, there. Yeah, just down the hill, right? Earlier on. Um, for, we were there earlier. Yeah. yeah. We've got a uh, breath that's right up on top of the hill. Uh huh. Right. And then right. Behind me is Razorback Stadium. The there is Razorback Stadium right there. We can see it. Yes. Excellent. So there's lots of things. You're located right on top of a hill, just like Buck Droke, and so you're pretty close to all the sports facilities as well as pretty close to the center of campus still. Yeah. And so, so as you said, right up there, there's also um, all of the retail like dining places yes. that we looked at with Palm. Uh, if you were looking at Founders. If you looked at the Founders video, you'd see like all the different food opportunities that are up there. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and go in and get started. We're going to look around. Sure, sure. So a little bit about um, Gladstone Ripley, I'll follow you in, mm -hmm. is what, 100 students, yep. three RAs on duty, co -ed. and yet yeah, co-ed. It has three floors. And um, yeah, so this, the interesting relationship between Gladstone Ripley and Buchanan Drove, which we toured earlier, is that they're connected in a lot of ways. Yes, um, quite literally a little bit. So mm -hmm. when you come to get your mail, you're actually going to come to Buck Roke right. to get your mail. This office that you see here is not um, operating. Mm -hmm. And so when you get mail or packages, you'll go to Buck Roke. That's where it's all delivered. And that's where you'll pick it up, which is right next door. Which is like, I don't know, 40 feet, 50 yeah. feet away it's, from here. It's not very far. You hardly have to go outside at all to get yeah. here. So. Now, but you do have this lobby space if you want to use that for you know whatever purpose you might have. You can uh, watch a little TV, do a little people watching even, right? Mm -hmm. You could just sit up there and kind of watch people. Um, let me remind everybody that if you have questions, uh, you're more than welcome to just chime in and ask them. Uh, we're gonna try to go through and show all of the residence hall that we can. Uh, yeah, I guess we're ready to go downstairs and take a look. Now we said this is predominantly a freshman residence hall, right? It's a, almost 50-50. I think it's 46 female, 54. Oh, we're talking about, yeah, as far as the um, gender break. Oh, yeah, gender. But, but yes, uh, I mean, it's mostly freshmen. 80-some percent freshmen. Right, all right, yeah. Okay, here we go downstairs. And so a lot of this kind of looks a lot like uh, Buchanan Droke, um, like the layout and everything like that, so. Um, yeah, continue to walk. What you're seeing here is kind of a uh, big corridor mm -hmm. in the rectangle. There is uh, this sort of central hallway that you kind of walk down. Now, it's not being used for anything at the moment, so we might actually see some staff members doing ongoing maintenance and everything like that. Uh, it looks like there's some people in the kitchen, but oh, yeah? do we want to check it out first? Yeah, we can go check it out anyway. Come through and do our little live tour. Yeah. yeah. Hello, do you mind if we check it out in here? <laughs> we're doing a live tour. We're doing a live tour? We're, it's fine. You can, we can, uh, we're just going to show off some of the things in the kitchen. Yeah. How are you? Good. Good, good. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We'll get a wave there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's your name? My name is Irma Guevara. Okay. A pleasure to meet you. Thank you for doing this. Uh, so, in here they're doing renovations. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, and uh, so we don't see anything on the walls right now, but uh, they'll have carpentry, I think, put back in there, some cabinets and, and shelves. Some new appliances and stuff. There's the new appliance. Yes, the new stove that's coming in. Is this one the new one or the old one? I think this is the new one. It looks like the new one. So, and there's a whole, apparently, people study in here sometimes too, is what I've heard. Yeah. This <laughs> is a pretty quiet place during the day, and so it's a good place. People come study. There's a table in there. Exactly. I know some of the best parties I've ever been to. We end up in the kitchen. More of a homey feel, I guess. Right. Right. Doing your homework in hey, kitchen. thank you for letting us say hello. So let's go on here into some of the more common areas. Yes, we're down here. <laughs> You're having too good of a time. Yeah, let's check out the laundry. Yeah. So in here we've got three washers. Sure. Four dryers. You bet. How are you today? Doing yeah, great, thank you. Just fine. Good. We're doing a, a live tour okay. of uh, this hall. And uh, do, you, do you mind if we catch you for a second? No, go right ahead. Now, you, you're, you, this is cool that we got you. You service our um, different 
laundry things. Including things. Institute yeah. throughout the entire campus, yes, sir. With Caldwell Gregory, yes, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, fantastic. Sir. What was your name? Greg. Greg, that's yes. right. Um, so we were just talking about Laundry Alert. Yes. Yeah, do you know a little about Laundry Alert, too? I know a little bit about it. Okay, okay. Well, you can feel free to chime in as we talk about it if okay. you know something that we don't. Yes, sir. So thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about Laundry Alert. So Laundry Alert is a system you can pull up on your phone, mm -hmm. and it'll tell you what washers and dryers are open in here, and then it will also tell you when you, uh, if you've got a load in there, when it's done. You can have an email or text alert you, so that way you know when your laundry is done and it won't just be sitting there, or you have to try and time it with your phone. Yeah. It's great for if you're going to class and you want to get your laundry done, but you don't want to sit down here and wait for it, it'll text you when it's ready. So. Sure, and you can, as you said, you could be checked from your computer to see if there's even anything open. Like yeah. during the peak times, you'll know because yeah. there'll be nothing open. Right. Great. So it's really uh, cool. Something to point out too is that there are no um, coin intakes mm -hmm. on any of the laundry facilities because that's covered by the uh, room fee. Mm -hmm. Not the student fee I said earlier, but actually the room fee that you pay whenever you live with us in University Housing. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you. We'll move on then to the other area. Sure. Let's look at uh, the other common areas here okay, so on the basement floor, the bottom floor. We've got the ping pong. Ah, ping pong room. Yes. That's always fun. Do you play ping pong? I do. Are you good? I am. Are you really? I do say so myself. I'm going to set this up a tripod and we're just going to go right here. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but air hockey I'm pretty good at. Um, and these, the, there are these desks here too, uh, which people may remember from classroom days. Um, I'm a left-hander, handed person, so I have to have a, a lefty desk, but uh, that's okay. So, shall we move on into the main programming area? So we have eight people watching us now, and uh, feel free, again, to ask any questions you want. We'll answer them as best we can. So let me kind of get... Mm -hmm. Let me try to get here a better angle so you can kind of see a little bit better. Yeah. A couple vending machines, lots of couches. Lots of couches. Mm -hmm. Big TV right there. This Absolutely. This is where they have a lot of their uh, programs and events and mm -hmm. stuff. They, host, they do a lot with Buck Drove too. Yeah, the, um, I'll take a second to explain kind of CREs and RAs. RAs are going to be... Um, usually upperclassmen who live in these residence halls and they do a lot of the directing and programming. So the events that happen, that sort of stuff, a lot of, a lot of that comes from the residence assistants. Yeah, RA means resident food. assistant. What's that? You get a lot of free food. Get a lot of free food living in the halls, that's true. And uh, then CREs are professionals who live uh, in the halls as well that help the RAs do their programming and other things. They live in like a, the apartment style. They do. Yeah. They have an apartment. Anything else we want to show about this room? We can probably just go out that way, I'm thinking. Yeah, we're good. We can walk on through. Okay. So next we want to check out the bathroom? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Because we always want to hit the highlights of, uh, of mail and laundry and Hello? bathroom. Okay. okay. And there's two on the floor, is that right? Yes two on the floor. And here's the showers, just so you get a sense of what they look like. There's two in here, two mm -hmm. stalls in here, and then yeah. there's two on the other side too. Right, so here's the second one. There's two uh, showers. And of course, there's two bathrooms on each floor, so you actually have four showers on each floor. And then the stalls right there. And then, of course, you have your own right there, and then sinks with this, I like this green, this green paneling is doing it well. It reminds me of my grand, I had my grandparents had this kind of paneling in their, in their house. It's kind of a soothing green color. <laughs> and then we have, of course, a mirror right there. Something to note, fix it. That's our service that you can use if you ever need to get something uh, fixed, a maintenance request. Just turn that in that way. So, you want to head on out? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to head down to one of the rooms. Yes. Unless, was there anything else we wanted to look at here? I think, so. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. So, here we are in room, room 004. 
Okay, so here we are in one of the residences, and it is very chilly in here. There are uh, air conditioning running, keeping it very cool. So during the summer, you should be, when you arrive here in August, you should be quite comfortable. Well, you've got complete control of it too, so even in the winter, you right. should be quite comfortable. You can comfortable. run it however you want. There's the window outside. You can see as we're, we're actually pointed toward Razorback Drive, I believe. Right, stadium, Stadium Drive. Yeah. Okay. Great. So we're in the room. Let me go ahead and finish doing a kind of a 360 here. And this is movable furniture, which is always a nice thing to be able to move the furniture around. Um, could you open up that closet so we can let people look? Okay. So here you've got a uh, mirrored area right there. And you've got space for shoes down there at the bottom. As well as, um, what are those called? Bars, I guess? Yeah, silver bars. Really? I don't know. Sure. So, um, since I haven't seen any questions yet or anything, we'll just kind of maybe read off some of the measurements. Yeah. Well, and then we've commonly gotten the question, what uh, size of the mattresses? So we can yes. answer that so one. So the ones in here are extra long, so they're 80 inches. So plan accordingly for that. Mm -hmm. um, another one we get is the window, and that one I think it's the same. Yeah, it's 89 in width and 53 inches in height. 89 width, 53 in height. Um, we should point out the little, you know, the, the, piping. the piping here. Be aware of that as a detail in the room. These rooms are smaller than you find in the high rises. Mm -hmm. it, it, I'm sorry, it is a little bit bigger? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little bit bigger room than normal. And carpet, people asked about carpet before. So this carpet's gonna be cleaned, but there is certainly carpet there. We've got the multi-use chairs here as well. Oh yeah. Uh, do you mind demonstrating the multi-use chair? Yeah. Thanks, Abby. Uh -huh. So you've got a rocking chair that does that, and then you've also got kind of a table that you can use for various purposes. Um, yeah. So that is good. And we'd asked we've been asked also, yeah, uh, actually, I was just thinking about that, uh, Tamala. Tamala, Tamala, that about the lofting beds. Yes, these are loftable. Um, right now, I think they're kind of set into, you know, a certain number of pins. They go right there, up to 36 inches. Is that what we had determined yes. before? So the top of this is 36, and then right to the very top mm -hmm. for bunk. Uh, what did we say that was? I think 80. Well, I hate to say. Okay, um, but yes, they are. Uh, the way to uh, get them lofted is either you can come with a rubber mallet and uh, knock it in and do it yourself or or you can make a request to our residential facilities and say hey I would like my bed to be lofted if you do that you just need to go to the housing website homepage and find the maintenance request on the left hand side click that and it'll take you uh, to the form and when you fill that out, you want to be sure that you note which bed you're in. A or B. Mm -hmm. A or B. Um, and uh, yeah, and we, we love it when people loft it. Did you get that uh, height? It didn't say on there. I think it was, was it 81? Uh, yeah, from the floor to the top of the mattress. Right? So from the floor to the top of the mattress is 81. This one would probably be a little different because of the pipes. Yeah. It just depends on if you want to do that. But a lot of people will loft it to the top of this. Mm -hmm. and put their fridge and microwave under there or right. loft it all the way and put their desk and everything under there. So. Sure, so what you can do, I guess, is you take one that looks a lot like that and you put it on top mm -hmm. and it goes all the way up. And they're fairly easy. Two people, it's a two-person job for mm -hmm. sure, but it's fairly easy. Okay. Well, hope that answers your question. Are there any other questions or measurements we should take for people? I'll give you a couple couple seconds to answer in if you have any questions. I guess another thing we can note is the two dressers right there. Uh -huh. uh, you can stack them, just a little pack there I guess. Okay. Or 
super stackable, and then you can just one person get the top, one person gets the bottom if you want more floor space. Right. And then you can also use these as an attachment for the desk. If you put them next to your desk, so you can have some storage for the desk. Oh, yeah, sure. And then the desks here are two separate desks. So when we were at uh, Buchanan Broke, they were uh, one one thing, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, now so. they're two different ones. So you can move them and do whatever you want with them. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not seeing any more questions come in, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. But uh, thank you for joining the tour, and this will be posted at the home the, on the front page of movein.uark.com. Dot edu when we're done. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. You want to say goodbye? Bye. <laughs>